this is for uh, Tremont uh, uh, in Schuyler. Without Coach Wade tonight, what did you figure was the best way to honor his absence, not being here? Uh, Tremont was the coach on the floor. I mean, Tremont did a great job uh, facilitating, uh, knowing when to score, when, knowing when to make plays for others, which is, you know, he's been uh, great at all year. So, uh, uh, proud of him, proud of all these guys. Uh, we deserve to be up here wearing these shirts and wearing these hats. And, uh, we've come a long way. We've been through a lot of adversity, but uh, we still got more to go, but we're happy with where we're at right now. <coughs> You know, yeah. too, um, but like you said, I, uh, I had to take on the role of being coach on the floor more than I usually do. And we didn't do anything different. We tried to just space the floor out, um, run great offense, move the ball, and we had to get stops. And I feel like we did a really good job of that. And my teammates did a, a much better job of listening and knowing that I had to make calls. And when you have a great teammate like this, it's, it's hard to work in one direction. Darius, to, to do what you did from beyond the arc. Tonight, I mean, did you? Did, was there things drawn up for you to get that much, that many more looks tonight? Um, no, I was just getting open. He was giving us the, the drag, so we, we kept executing. And coach always told me to shoot the ball with confidence, and that's what I did tonight. Marshall, we always hear about how well you shoot in the scout team. How good did it feel to do that on the floor? And then Skyler, if you would just brag about Marshall after he answers. I'll start it off. Uh, I mean, I, every time we go to a uh, meeting and y'all ask about Marshall, I say he's the best shooter on our team. Uh, I stand by it. Uh, you, know, you can't write a better story. Uh, you know, Marshall's an unbelievable worker, uh, unbelievable person. And, you know, things went right for him. Things were expected. So uh, I'm just so happy for him. And uh, you know, he showed a lot today. Uh, it was definitely felt amazing, just as you would expect. But uh, uh, it's a special blessing to play with this team, man. It's easy to have confidence in play well when you know you've got great teammates behind you, you know, great coaches that believe in you. So uh, we got a, I definitely have a lot of people that I play for, and we all have a lot of people that we play for. Wade, you know, I play for God first and foremost, and uh, just all glory to him, and it was a, a great, a great day. I know y'all all have a special connection with Wade, um, but for Skyler and Marshall, just what was it like to have Faye and Wayne out there at the end to help y'all cut the nets down? And Darius and Tremont can answer too, but Oh, it was great, you know. Uh, they've been a big part of what we've done all year. Uh, actually, me and Coach Wade went and asked her, uh, not, not yesterday, but Thursday, if uh, they were willing to do it, and they said, of course. And uh, again, they have uh, been a huge part of what we've been able to do this year, so it's only right that they're up there to cut the next out with us. Okay. Uh, uh, it meant a lot it, for me, especially knowing Wade as long as I have. Uh, since playing in high school with him, it was special that his parents, uh, Miss Faye and Mr. Wayne, it was uh, an incredible moment because if anybody deserves to go up there and cut those nets down with them, and they're uh, amazing people. And I, you know, we're all behind them 100%, this entire community, this entire state. So uh, it was a, definitely a special moment. Anyone left that I can't read? All right, um, Skylar, uh, uh, piggybacking off of that with your shoes, um, I guess how did the creation of those come to be, and um, you know what did it mean to be able to wear those? Yeah, I mean, uh, y'all know I've known you for a long time. He's always been a huge part of my life. Uh, we've always been at the hip, and uh, you know, I just try to honor him any way I can. And shoes are a way that I express myself, and uh, it's a way that I can express how much I care about him, how big a part of he was, how big a part he was of my life. Uh, shout out to my guy Mike Anderson who did the, uh, who customized them for me. He did an unbelievable job, uh, and I can't wait to wear them actually in a game, uh, whether it be here or. Back here uh, for Skyler and Darius, uh, Coach Benford, you know, kind of thrown to the fire tonight. Just what was it like kind of seeing him rise to the task and, and kind of being under his leadership tonight? Um, I mean, it felt pretty good. 
they have somebody else step in. But we always gonna love Coach Wade regardless. But it was good that Coach Jones came and did his job and just basically mostly gave everything to Trey was just like just run your team and Trey did what we had to do, we all did what we had to do, we executed and we won. Team pretty much is, I wasn't expecting it as, as, as much because I thought Coach Beck was going to take a little bit more um, ownership of the team. But like obviously in the house, he he said what he had to say. But on the court, he he uh, gave me the keys to the car, and I, I pretty much had to drive the way he wanted to drive it. And like I said before, having these type of guys around me, it, it makes it easy for a point guard to do what he has to do if they're going to move and shoot the ball like Marshall or shoot it like. I mean, I got an assist of all three of these guys up here today, so not just one, multiple. So I'll be able to just move the ball and pass it to these type of guys to score, and that makes my job easy. God, such an amazing moment to cut down the nets and, and enjoy that. What was the only thing kind of missing? Your head coach wasn't there to share that moment with you. Well, uh, it was there in spare, obviously. Um, I'm pretty sure, like, 101 percent that he watched the game. And I'm, I'm pretty sure when we messed up, he was yelling at the TV. I don't want to say at the TV and stuff like that. So like, we know that he's he's had our back since day one. And obviously, he's still there for us, but he just wasn't able to experience it in the moment. What was it like to play in such an emotionally charged atmosphere where you had a packed stadium going wild for every remotely positive play, but then during lulls in the action, protesting on certain things that you, you may have This, I mean, this is, this is this is what we all came here for, like to play an atmosphere like that. You know, people cheering and protesting, whatever's going on. This is it's a college atmosphere. This is what we all came here to do. So uh, it was a we have great fans. Uh, we play for a great state, and uh, we do our best to represent them well. Along those lines, Skyler, um, how much of the events of this week did that motivate this team tonight, the game tonight? What took place? It seemed like there was a lot of emotion. Yeah, I mean, the last 48 to 72 hours have kind of been a roller coaster. Uh, but, you know, I, I think that's another thing that just makes this team special our ability to, you know, like Coach Wade always says, narrow our focus and, and uh, focus on the task at hand. And, uh, you know, all these guys in the number, even the guys who aren't sitting right here right now, we all just came together and did an unbelievable job of uh, focusing on just beating Vanderbilt. And, uh, Controlling what we can control. Right. Scott, Scott uh, last 40 hours of the most roller coaster. As, as a leader, uh, how did you handle it for this team? And how did you and Trey handle it? I just, I just kind of tried to be myself. You know, I'm more of an even killed guy. Uh, and, you know, if, I feel like if I panic, then everyone else panics. So, uh, knowing the kind of, knowing the effect that I have on the team, I just, we kept a straight face and we came to work. We had a great practice Friday and uh, we came in very prepared. I think, speaking for myself, I had a great feeling about today and I, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys did. Trey, anything? Yeah, um, like you said, just coming into it, like, I had a pretty good feeling too. We were uh, really excited in practice. Um, with, with everything that's been going on, I feel like as, as a team, as a brotherhood, we Everyone would just remain in themselves. Uh, we were still laughing and joking. Um, we got news that Devontae wasn't going to play. He came back to the locker room, and you would have known that nothing happened if if the report didn't go out. So I feel like that's the type of team we are, that's the type of uh, individuals that we have on this team. And as long as we keep doing that and just being ourselves, then nothing can break us. Tremont, how did, how did you find out Thursday that Coach was suspended and what was your first reaction? I don't, I don't remember. I don't want to comment on it. Right. Yeah. 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 Marshall, like, Marshall, 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 Marshall,
you know, we're uh, like we're on, on top of the world. Uh, speaking, I, I think I can speak for Marshall on this. It's like we're on top of the world. Uh, you know, uh, now that we've won, uh, we have no reason to look back. But the negative, 